Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of data structures. Our today's topic is conversion from traversal order to binary tree. Hi, this is our instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin with today's outlines. Students, first our outlines are first when we need to talk about that steps to convert the traversal order to binary tree. Then we will see that the examples for that. Okay, so let's begin with steps. So here the steps to convert. Step number one is that you have given in order pre order pair or in order post order in your question. Okay, so you have pair of two traversal orders. Either it is in order pre order or it is in order post order. Fine. Okay. Next step number one. First, students, you need to select a node. That means you need to select a root node. Okay, from which you need to start begin your tree. So step number one is to just to select a node, and you can select a node from either pre-order or post-order traversals. Now, now if you remember that post-order contains VLR, no, students, post-order contains LRV. That means left, right, and visit. And pre order contains VLR. That means visit, left, and right. So here you need to select a node from pre order from left to right and from post order from right to left. Fine. Now, step number two is after selecting the node, students. How many nodes are situated on the left side of the root node and how many nodes are situated on the right side of the root node that will be calculated from in order. Fine. So always remember pre and post are just for the selection of a node and from in order we will decide which nodes are situated on the left side and which are on the right side. Okay. So here it is. Step number one. Student so step number one is select a node from pre-order or post-order. Let me give you an example that here we have a pre-order that is A, B, D, I, E, C, then C, G, F, H. Okay. So if you can see that here pre-order, the highlighted node is A. That means that is our root node. Now so if you have pre-order sequence then always need to start selection from left to right now next is next is post order if you can see students the post order contains i t b g c h then f e and a okay so what happens over here students in post order you always need to go from right to left fine so let's begin with the step number two after selecting a node which node is on the left side and which is on the right side that will be decided from the in order okay so here it is the in order sequence students see i am just selecting node a from pre or post then after that if you can see in this in order sequence left side nodes of a are b i and d and the right side node of a are c g e h and f that means we can easily say that students left side a contains bid on the right side of a it contains cge h and f fine so this is left side this is right side of a so now let's take an example see the question will be asked in your exam is make a binary tree from given below traversal order okay so here we have students pre order and in order see pre order is given like this a, B, D, I, E, C, then G, F, and H. And on in order students, we have B, I, D, A, then C, G, E, H, F. Okay, so what happens over here? We just need to select the first node. Okay, so if you remember two steps, selection of the node begins with either pre order or post order. Here we have, see, here we have pre-order that's why I need to go from left to right okay so here we we are going to select from L to R the first node is A 
okay so a is our very first node okay so this is our in order now i'm just selecting node a in in order now see first i just need to make node a okay so see how it goes like this i'm just move towards the left to right first node i just found a node okay so i'm just clicking node a so i'm just making node a as my root node now see i have just selected root node a now which nodes are on the left side and which are on the right side that will be selected from in order so see if you can see in this figure okay bid are on the left side cgehf on the right side so first you just need to make like this see make a root node a then on the left side of the a b should have b i d on the right side of the a b should have c g e h and f okay so this is a step number one sorry step number two that you need to be performed step number one is just make a node a step number two is just give left side and right side children okay now students if you can see here the node a selection is successfully done now let's move further again after this we just need to repeat our step one step two step one step two okay step one is selecting a node for that we need to again check our pre-order sequence if you can see our pre-order sequence after a we have node b fine so here now let's start with the node b so from b i and d see now you just need to select from b i and d this part only so from B, I and D, we just need to select node B. So I'm just selecting node B. Okay. So now tell me, is there any node situated on the left side of the B? See, is there any node on the left side of the B? No. That means left child is empty. Now, is there any node on the right side of the B? Yes, it is. Which are they? They are I and D. Okay. So here we have I and D on the right side of the B. So now, if you can see, tree is just becoming like a okay a then b and on the right side of the b is i and d okay let's move further after selecting b we have d that means from i and d i need to select d first okay so i'm just selecting d students selecting d and then just check is there any node on the left side of the d yes that is i is there any node on the right side of the d no nothing that means that means we just need to make a okay root node a on the left side of the a we should have b right side of the b we should have d and on the left side of the d students we must have i node fine so here if you can see the left subtree of a is completely done now there are no nodes remaining in the left subtree okay so let's begin with the right selection part so now after done with i okay just say to select a node we must need to concern about pre-order sequence see the pre-order sequence is e okay after i we just we if i'm selecting node then it becomes like e so students just take e i'm just selecting e node and check it out how many nodes on the left side and right side of the e now see some of you may have told me sir B I D A B I D A C G. This all nodes are on the left side of the node E. But wait, students. If whenever we select a node, that means that part is totally completed. Okay. So on the left side of the E, we only have C and G that are remaining to be done. Okay. So that's why just go with C and G. So I just put on the left side of the E C and G and then right side of the e we have h and f okay fine so let's move further again selecting a node step number one okay and just selecting g selecting g on this g's left side we must have node c and then then if you can see g or c g or c see wait for a minute it's g or c students it must be c because after e we should select node c okay so just select node c then on the right side of the right side of the c we must have g left side of the c is empty let's move further with g okay so g is situated on the right side of the node c fine now let's move further the next we have must have f 
so from the sequence of h and f from the sequence of h and f students you need to select only one node and that must be f because if you see the pre order sequence after g we have h okay so we just need to select h first and then sorry we need to select f first and then h must be on the left side of f okay so as we have just made binary tree from our given pre order and in order sequence okay now let me show you another example this is example number 2 students we have question like make a binary tree from given below traversal orders so here we have the post order in in order traversals see students here we have post order so we should go from right to left okay so first selection of a node must be done from right to left that must be root node a so here it is this is root node a okay and in post order sequence left side of the a see left side of the a it must be bid and on the right side of the a it must be c g e h and f okay fine so after selecting a after selecting a we need to select any node so just go from right to left students i found e i found e but but see here i am showing you to solve this example simultaneously for left subtree of a and for right subtree of a again i am showing you to solve this example simultaneously for left and right subtree both how see from the left subtree sorry from the right subtree i am just selecting node e and from the left subtree i am going to select node b because it goes first see i'm just checking the whole post order sequence from right to left okay for see this we have this we have b i d and c g e h and f okay so from b i d which node i should select just go from right to left b comes first so select b and from c g e h f which node i should select students that is node e so i need to select node e first fine so here it is selecting node e and b okay now tell me which nodes are on the left side and right side of the e b and e see on the right the left side of the b we have nothing okay and on the right side of the b we have we have node i and d same like that node e students on the left side of the e we have c g on the right side of the e we have h and f so i'm just making c g and hf on right and left side of e respectively and then then students for node b i must have i and d on the right side of the b fine so here this is my tree okay now again i'm just showing you from the right right side of the post order okay so here i need to select a node from the right side from the post order sequence okay so that must be from i and d i should select c for i and d i should select node d first and for from c g i need to select i need to select c from h f i need to select f okay so here it is that is the first selecting f then selecting c and then selecting d so this is my tree okay you can solve previous example same like these students okay so next the remaining nodes are that are d it must be on the left side of the i then g must be on the right side of the c and then we have h on the left side of f fine so such like this students our tree goes like this now each and every node is come selected and our tree becomes like this okay friends finally your tree is like this where we have a b e d c f then i g and d okay so you can make your tree from traversal orders pre order and in order okay so up to now we have seen that how can we do in order pre order and post order traversal as well as as well as from the traversal orders in order pre order or in order pre -order, post order how to make binary tree okay so that's it for today's lecture thank you so much students